A lot of us are spending more time at home or in our yards this summer. And some of your trees maybe could use a little extra love. One out of five trees in the Twin Cities still at risk of being infested by the emerald ash borer. Ooh, certified arborist Jeff Hafner here from Rainbow Tree Care to talk about this dreaded emerald ash borer because, Jeff, this is, uh, you know, ever since it came in here, what, 10 years ago, you know, a lot of people have been really afraid of it. What's the status right now? How big of a problem is it still in Minnesota? Emerald ash borer is still a very big problem in Minnesota. Uh, we are very lucky to have so many trees growing in our communities, and many of those trees are ash, and when left unprotected, they are still susceptible to being killed by EAB. In the Twin Cities, we could lose as many as 3 million ash trees in the next few years. Wow. I think not everybody knows how to identify an ash tree on their property. How would you know if you have one of these trees? Sure, ash trees have some unique characteristics that lend themselves to being identified. The bark of a mature ash tree forms diamond-shaped ridges, and the branches originate from the same spot opposite of one another. So as you look up in the canopy, you'll see branches kind of coming out from the same spot. The leaves, too, are not a single leaf, but rather a compound leaf and have an odd number of leaflets attached to those branches. At RainbowTreeCare.com, we did create a series of videos to help homeowners and tree owners identify ash trees, as well as seeing how we protect ash trees right. from EAB. And Jeff, we know that different cities have taken different approaches to really try to get at the emerald ash borer, but there there is a treatment for it. There is, and uh, we have over 50,000 ash trees under protection at Rainbow Tree Care, and the the treatment is done through a procedure which drills a series of holes at the base of the tree and allows that treatment to be taken up into the trunk and the branches and the leaves, protecting it from any insects that may want to attack and kill it. This looks like a pretty involved uh, procedure looking at this picture we're seeing of one of your uh, technicians out there doing the work. Is this expensive to treat? You know, what does it cost to treat one tree? Treatment can vary depending on the size of the tree, mm, sure. but homeowners, when given the option to protect a mature ash tree versus removing it and replace it, often choose tree protection because it is less expensive even after 10 or 20 years, huh. and treatment maintains those mature tree benefits to the property. Oh, yeah. Right. I mean, yeah. a lot of times those ash trees are some of the older ones in your yard. What about other trees on your property, on, in your yard? Uh, that What else can we do to keep those healthy? Well, as I mentioned, trees make everything more livable. Trees are just so important to our lives and our environment. And every stage of a tree's life needs proper care from correct planting at its infancy through pruning as in its younger ages to give it good structure as well as maintenance and deadwood pruning in its older and mature ages. But investments in tree care are always a wise place to invest because trees pay us back every year that they live with us. Very good. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, what else would you expect the tree care guy to say, right? <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. We appreciate the tips. Good stuff trees. today.